G'day guys, uh, Zach here and thanks for joining me in this very quick look at uh, some recent acquisitions that I just got. So um, I've been doing a little bit of dealings with a good friend of mine and he runs an online store, particularly on eBay and goes by the name of NZ Greenstone. So if you're looking for jade art, jade pendants, jade ornaments and that sort of thing, uh, please do look him up. I'll put a link in the description. He sells jade across the spectrum. He sells them to galleries, to private buyers, collectors, and all sorts of things like that. So we go back a little ways, uh, and I would consider us good friends. We've had some dealings on jade and other items such as watches. And uh, what I wanted to show you today was just uh, something that I've picked up from, from him very recently, and uh, maybe a little bit, little bit of a bonus as well while we're at it. So I'm just going to zoom in here. And what I wanted to show you was what I've just gotten. And this is a New Zealand jade custom carved hook. Now, as I understand, jade in the native Maori or New Zealand native culture is quite important. It represents a stone of significance to them. And they do tend to use this um, quite extensively. And when I traveled to New Zealand, uh, when I was about 15, I actually picked up a necklace, a bit smaller than this, but but similar, and it was one of the New Zealand fish hooks in jade. I did lose that, and uh, it was something that I was quite disappointed to lose, and I always wanted. And fortunately, NZ Greenstone has been able to help me find something new, and in fact, this is much, much better than what I used to have. So a couple of things to note with this uh, that really stood out to me is this is actually a really... 3d or three-dimensional carving you know this it's not as simple as having just cut a shape out of a flat piece of stone this is actually being carved and what you're noticing particularly in the center there is, is just how fine this carving actually gets now in terms of the stone itself and like i don't claim to be an expert here but it's an extremely clean looking jade it doesn't seem to have you know lines of uh, other materials through it and it's extremely translucent. It's really nice, beautiful grass green color. So having a look through a very well-renowned artist, and there's, there's many of them in New Zealand, uh, is the gentleman that carved this piece. And each one that you're gonna pick up is very unique. They're all different, they're all carved every single time you pick up something like this, whether it's a necklace or, a, or an ornament, uh, they're always going to be unique and special. So there it is. Now I'll try and get some daylight shots, which I've been throwing up on the screen, just so you can get an idea of what this looks like in the sun. Under the studio lights really probably doesn't do this jade any justice whatsoever. Now, uh, he was kind enough also when I was acquiring this necklace to throw in a little, a little extra here for me. And this is a little jade pendant. And I find this really quite interesting actually, because you go from this really Deep, deep dark green this really jade green color all the way down to an almost clear translucent section and I found that that's quite an interesting shift um, and change in color and so um, yeah I guess you could use this as a necklace uh, or in my case I might actually use it as a little little pendant on I don't know the back of so I was even thinking about putting it on a little pocket knife actually um, so yeah all sorts of uses for this and really quite an interesting stone. So once again, if you wanted to pick something up like this, check out NZ Green Stone, all one word on eBay. There's loads and loads of stuff, and uh, the quality is excellent. These are all gemstone quality jade, um, straight out of New Zealand, and straight from the local artists. Thanks for joining me in this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.